What's up guys, uh, today I'm going to be making an impromptu video on my three years, or last three years with the Galaxy S3, so without further ado, let's get started. So first off, let's go through the specs, the ones that I know on top of my head. I am doing this video impromptu because I feel like it's a more personal video than it is a professional video. So bear in mind if the voice gets kind of choppy or if my language isn't as great as it can be like right now, um, that it will be like that. So anyways guys, let's get into the specs. It has a Snapdragon S4 Pro, I think, or a Snapdragon 400 series processor. I think it's an Adreno like 320 GPU. I'm not sure exactly. Um, you can Google the specs if you want. Um, somewhere in the area of like 2500 or 2000 milliamp hour or 2100 milliamp hour battery. Um, I think it's a 8 megapixel camera on the back and a 2 megapixel on the front. Um, but pretty much it's fairly specced, especially for budget phones, even for 2015. Um, it's not the best, obviously there's a lot better phones nowadays. But for three years ago, this was actually the beast, and honestly this is Samsung's baby. Um, I ordered this phone on July 9th, 2012. Or I actually pre-ordered it and I received it on the release date. Um, so I bought it straight out, like 150 or something subsidized. And honestly, it was the best phone ever. It was bigger than any iPhone. Phone. It was bigger. It was like, like 4.7 inches was like huge for that time. I mean, I think the only thing out that uh, that was out or that was coming out was like the Note, and that was right. That was after the S3. So, the S3 honestly was one of the best phones that was out. Um, and I actually picked it up for AT&T. I have AT&T, so the service was great. Um, three years later. Obviously, Samsung isn't really famous for updating the devices. I rooted this like right out of the box, so I was able to update whatever major releases of different versions of Android came out. So right now I'm actually running CM 12.1, so I'm running Android 5.1.1. Um, so it's working just fine. Um, there are a couple hiccups though. I don't get 4G LTE. So actually, if any of you guys have a fix, uh, leave it in the comment sections down below because honestly I need that fix. Um, I'm only getting HSPA Plus on this phone. And I mean, I really would like to get 4G LTE as it was advertised when I first had this phone actually. Um, other things that are uh, really cool about this device that still do work are the camera. Uh, sometimes I can get pretty good pics. Most of the time it's okay or mediocre. I usually just pull out my Canon uh, EOS M whenever I really want to take pictures. But uh, for Snapchat and little Instagram things, this phone is just fine um, compared to like phones today. Um, I'm talking about budget phones like Moto G wise, uh, maybe not beating the Moto G, but almost there. So it's not it's not that bad. It is a Samsung phone, so there is still quality left. Um, but the device is pretty old. The image processing is very old and all that. So you have to bear that in mind. Um, the phone also has its various dents and scratches and bruises or whatever you want, cracks or bruises, yeah, whatever you want to call them, um, throughout like the actual metal frame of it. Uh, but otherwise, the rest of the phone has survived. The back plate has sort of chipped off a little bit too, but I mean, it's not that bad. And honestly, like it doesn't really affect usability of the phone. The screen itself, though, is actually like intact. There's no scratches or anything. The Gorilla Glass is actually really strong, and there's nothing visibly like that you can see or scratched actually my Nexus 7 2013 scratched more than this phone so um actually my Nexus 7 2013 cracked so this phone had survived <laughs> more than like the tough kind of handle when it comes to running apps and all those kind of thing like gaming and stuff I can still game like with the newer games and stuff but I prefer to do that on my tablet even though it has the same specs but it runs pure Android better um, and also this phone does overheat a little bit sometimes um, but when it comes to normal apps like Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, um, phone, messaging, hangouts it works fine it breezes through all of them actually just fine um, even the animations in Lollipop are just fine um, the notification light still works, the charging port still works, I mean, the battery is one thing that actually really impressed me, it lasts, it still lasts a very long time, so that's a good thing. Um, but otherwise, this phone's actually pretty good, I mean, it's, uh, it's still working after three years, obviously I'm going to be upgrading really soon, but it's still working after three years of use, and Samsung really had built phones that could last, I mean, they're not as great as iPhones, but they 
they do last a long time. So if you are looking for an Android device that does last a long time, I have to recommend Samsung, even though they have that stupid touch whiz, whatever. I mean, I've heard it's called better, but the phones do last. They're like iPhones in a way that they do last through all the years if you need them to. I mean, there are also budget devices that could last too, um, and nowadays I would also recommend looking at the budget devices, the Moto X Pure, um, the OnePlus 2, even the OnePlus 1 at this point is actually pretty good too, but when it comes to regards of actually keeping the phone for a very long time, even having support or ROMs or anything, especially if you want to tinker with it, I would definitely go with the Samsung because most people will have them and most people will try to be unlocking or tinkering or updating them or whatever. Anyways guys, this was my last three years with the Galaxy S3. Uh, leave a comment, rate, subscribe, everything uh, down below. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I don't even know how many social networks we have anymore. Also, go check out our new website, prstudios.co. Um, that we are just building right now. So uh, it's a new WordPress page. So hope you guys like it. Also, check out PR Gaming. That will be linked down below. Um, but anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.